All right, so let's see what this uh, reunion is all about. So gonna need rehab when you're done with this. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. Let me pull up my shirt right quick. I don't got no boobies, y'all know. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, I just spit everywhere. My debut EP, Mental Notes, is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Play, Google, wait, Amazon Music, something. So make sure you buy, stream, and download today. And if you do stream, make sure you're sending me screenshots, tweeting me screenshots, DMing me screenshots on Instagram, because I love to repost them on my stories. I'm trying to shout y'all out for being awesome. So yeah, make sure you do that. But now that that self promo is out of the way, y'all know we finished Love Island, and every single comment was, you gonna play the reunion? Yes. I wouldn't leave you hanging. So without further ado, let's see what's been going on in the minds of the Islanders since, you know, we last left off. Tim did say the party was Christmas themed. What should I wear? Santa dress or Christmas jumper and boots. Let's see that Santa dress. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, we elegant in that. And let's see the Christmas jumper and boots. Oh, that's me. That's so me. This looks great. Time to find out who's been naughty or nice. Welcome back to Love Island. I can't believe it's been six months since Alexa and Levi won the finale. I mean, technically that's true, hey. After the summer of their lives. It was the summer of my life too, to be honest. I don't get out much. It says a lot that Alexa was willing to give up 25 pounds to someone she just met. I guess she must have really wanted things to work with Levi. Or maybe she was just worried that if she didn't split it, social media would have had a meltdown. I mean, they would have. And just when you thought it was all over, Tim's invited the Islanders to a Swish country house for a surprise announcement. And because it's that time of year, we're swapping Christmas trees for palm trees. <laughs> Crackers for cracking on, and mistletoe for wherever it was in the villa that Islanders did their kissing. All of it, basically. And to cap it all off, those scallywags aren't even on telly anymore, and they still get a narrator. Tonight, as we catch up with some familiar faces, Tim lives life on the edge. Oh my God, I think he's gonna fall. And Erica being left out in the cold. Oh. He's completely ghosted me for 10 days now. <gasps> and we find out who stayed together, who's single, and who's on the prowl. Did Alexa and Levi stay together? Yes. Or did life on the outside prove too much for them? We'll see. Let's find out. It's time for her big entrance. Oh my God. You arrive fashionably late and by yourself. Another day full of interviews. I hope I haven't missed anything. The place is decked out with tinsel, festive baubles, and multicolored fairy lights. Peeking through the door, you spot the other ex-islanders miling about in their best festive outfits. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is weird. The last time I saw most of these people was in the villa in Spain. It's been like half a year since then. The time's just flown by. You see Levi and Rohan talking at the bar. My man, I, I think. Mason, Tilly, and Jake fighting for control of the playlist. I love them. Allegra and Cherry who seem to be arguing. No one's in the bikinis, but it looks like the drama's still the same. And Erica's standing by herself in the corner. Reese is nowhere to be seen. <gasps> hmm, that's odd. Could something have happened between Erica and Reese? They were so strong at the end of the summer. Maybe I should go talk to her and find out. Oh yeah, we're getting the scoop, we're getting the tea. Tim's face lights up as he spies you from across the room. He breaks off from Jen to make his way over. He's looking a little calmer and more self-assured than you remember. Wow, I haven't seen Tim yet in a long time. I know a lot of people in the comments are like, it's pronounced time, but I made it the Americanized version. Tim Ye after Kanye. Let me live. I missed him. He's really a keeper. I know that now. Maybe something might've happened with us if things had gone differently in the villa. No, he's more of a friend. He's like my bestie. It feels strange seeing him now. I've barely spoken to anyone since the finale. Before you can even say hello, Tim grabs your hand and holds it up. Wrestling crew style. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this year's Love Island. The room erupts into applause. Even Allegra and Mason are clapping. This feels so nice. After all this time apart too. I should make some sort of winner speech. Be positive and friendly. Talk about how great you are or get through it quickly. Be positive and friendly, of course. It's so great to see everyone. The villa feels like forever ago. I can't wait to catch up with all of you. The applause has barely stopped before it starts again with renewed energy. I feel like a queen. The group disperses and Chatter fills the room again. A moment passes before you notice that Tim's still holding your hand. When your eyes meet, he holds your gaze for a minute. Neither one of you speaks. Is there something different about Tim? Has he been hit in the gym or what? He's so confident and he's always been there for me. I feel so comfortable around him. Do I like Tim? What's going on? Wait, I don't 
fancy Tim, do I? I'm into him or I'm just feeling a bit insecure. Where's Levi? Like, huh? I'm, I think I'm just feeling a bit insecure. Have I had a drink yet? Maybe that's what's happening. That's never happening. Why am I even thinking about that? You let go of his hand. He blushes and quickly turns away. There's a moment of awkward silence. So, what's this big surprise announcement you've invited everyone here for? Oh, it's not time for that yet. I don't want to spoil it. Catch you in a bit, Alexa. You catch Levi glancing over at you as you weep through the other islanders. Yeah, let me talk to my boyfriend. Is he still my boyfriend? Like, he waves. I should speak to him. A hand grabs your elbow as you start moving towards Levi. Who is this? Jen drags you over to a different room. Whoa easy there. When you look back, you see Levi heading outside with a few of the other islanders, leaving Rohan on his own. Jin squeals as she casts her eyes over your outfit. You look so Christmassy. I love it. A couple of people turn up in normal clothes, so Tim had to dress them up. She sneaks a glance at Allegra, whose antlers jingle every time she moves. Anyway, I spoke to a few people. Nobody's heard from you. Life's kind of swept me away. I haven't had the chance to properly catch up with everyone. You realize Jin's still talking. She, she never stopped. <laughs> A bunch of couples have already broken up. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some new hookups tonight. Wow! I want to know everything that's happened since the finale. Start with the love side of things. Are you and Levi still together? Am I still with Levi or am I single? I'm still with Levi or I broke up with him or I'm single and ready to mingle. I think I'm still with them. We spent like every day together. It's felt weird today just being apart for a few hours. That's so great. I'm pleased for you. Thanks, hun. So, do you think you'll go the distance? That's a big question. I could always dodge it. Now that we've left the villa, do I think Levi and I have a future? Absolutely, or I don't know, or I've got a text. <laughs> uh, I, absolutely, there's no question. So cute. There's a moment of silence between the two of you as Jin catches Erica's eye from across the room. I think she wants to talk to you, huh? How do I feel about Erica these days? It'll be great to catch up, or I'll try to be civil, or I'm so over her drama. I mean, we made up as friends. It'll be great to catch up. That's great. It looks like she could use a friend right now. All right, what's up, girl? Jen excuses herself as Erica comes to stand beside you. She smiles weakly through her tear clump lashes. Aw, she seems really down. How should I play things with Erica? Be sympathetic, roll your eyes, or make fun of her. Sympathetic, I'm not mean. You all right, hon? Erica sighs. Not exactly. I wanted to talk to you about Reese. Where is he? You noticed that too, huh? She laughs, but it's unconvincing. Her face falls. I'm trying to figure that out myself. He's completely ghosted me for like 10 days now. We were supposed to be coming to this thing together. That doesn't sound too promising. I kept thinking that maybe someone else here knows something. Could you maybe ask around for me? Sure, I'll get the tea. Erica wants me to ask people about Reese. Sure, why not? That's what friends are for, right? Oh my God, thank you. Erica hurries to the bathroom to wipe off mascara from her cheek. You look around at the other islanders. A few of them have gone outside, including Levi. Rohan's on his own. You catch him throwing glances in your direction. The rest of the remaining islanders are huddled around a laptop. You see Mason among them. The music seems to change every 30 seconds. Who should I speak to next? Rohan, since he's all alone. You find Rohan leaning up against the wall on his own. Hey, Rohan, you all right? Alexa, hey. I'm okay, feeling a bit like Celine Dion over here. Huh? You know, Celine Dion, all by myself. Y you didn't come with anyone? Well, I was hardly going to turn up with Lucy. Whoa, I'd practically forgotten those two were together. That's fair. Rohan seems really down. So what happened with Lucy? Let me know the tea, what you'd expect. She wasn't over Levi for starters. Plus, I didn't know where I'd be after I finished uni. I didn't want my options tied down by someone who wasn't even into me. So you're the one who ended it, not her? She seemed more gutted than I thought she'd be. But yeah, I have other things on my mind right now. Jake, I feel like I should do what everyone else is doing and become a social media influencer. Ah. Uh I mean, good luck. I'm screaming. But if anything, being in the villa made me realize how much I want that circus dream. What do you reckon, Alexa? Should Rohan join the circus or become an influencer? Join the circus, become an influencer, or I'm no good with this stuff. I mean, basically they're the same because being an influencer is like being a clown. T, I'm just kidding, oh my God. Become an influencer, Rohan. Make some hard cash first. The circus can wait. That way you have a safety net. I guess circus performers already have those though. Thanks, Alexa. Happy to be of service. By the way, do you know where Reese is? I actually do. Ooh. 
Where? Rohan sighs and pushes off the wall. He's with Lucy. Oh! Are you serious? Yeah, after we broke up, she started spending all her free time with him. Reese is hanging out with Lucy? That's a scandal. Or makes sense though, or eh, whatever. Makes sense though. He did always have a bit of a crush on her. I'll see you later, Rohan. Rohan leaves your side and starts walking towards the group. Hmm, it looked like he had more to say, but couldn't for some reason. Jake! Jake! Is it because I'm still with Levi? Oh, I should go and see who keeps changing the music. You approach a group of Islanders gathered around a laptop. They seem to be arguing over DJ duty. <laughs> Come on, just one song. This is a nice place. We're not listening to your band. So just leave it out, yeah? Mason sees you and throws up his arms. Alexa, help me out here. Can you please convince Celia to let me play my band? Should we let Mason play one of his band songs? Yeah, I wanna hear it. Or just one song would be fine. Or no way. I, I'm a happy medium type of person. Just one song and then nothing else. That should be a good compromise. Okay, I'll pick a good one. Ugh, fine. Talia steps aside and Mason takes control of the laptop. Heavy metal blasts through the speakers. Please, with your decision, Alexa. What do I think of Mason's band? Um, I, I didn't know it was gonna be metal. Metal is my jam. I could get into it or turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Talia nudges Mason out of the way and puts on something different. Aw, I'm mean. Well, thanks anyway. <clears throat> At least that's sorted now. I'm so mean for that. I should find out what people have been up to. Who should I ask about? Mason, because I just turned off his music. I feel bad. How you been, Mason? Well, not that you care, but my modeling career is really blowing up. I'm getting loads of bookings and stuff, like you always talked about. But also, the band got back in touch, asking if we can get back together for some kind of reunion tour. Apparently, our old material got loads of attention when I was in the villa. Mason can't choose between modeling and music. Stick with modeling, get the band back together, or those are both ridiculous ideas. Stick with modeling, dude. It's clearly going well for you. Yeah, I actually might. Who should I ask about now? Talia, girl, how you doing? How's it going, Talia? That's so sweet of you to ask. You know, I got a bit of an issue. What is it? Some publisher got a hold of my fan fiction. Oh! After it got mentioned on the show, they tracked it down online. They want to publish it. Oh! Isn't that a good thing? Maybe, but what if nobody takes me seriously as a journalist anymore? Should Talia get her fan fiction published? Go for it, or think about your reputation, or hell no. I, look, if it was me, somebody wanna publish my book, no matter how embarrassing it was, go for it, I'm doing it. Publish is publish, right? Who cares if it's a fan fiction? That's one way of looking at it. What about you, Alexa? Aw, Jake, you look so cute. You must have so many options now that you're rich. What did I do with my prize money? I bought a house, I'm going traveling, I've adopted a pet, or I'm investing it. Um, I'm going traveling. Jealous. You love summer, right? I remember you telling us that on like day one. I bet you're going somewhere tropical. I overheard a little of your chat with Erica. Sorry, I wasn't meaning to eavesdrop. <laughs> She's asking you to do some digging about Reese, right? Yeah, she did. I heard he was involved in some shady business deal. Oh, what do you mean shady? What kind of deal? I don't know, just that it was shady and a deal. What does that mean for Reese and Erica? The Islanders turn their attention back to the playlist. The speakers pump out about 10 seconds of rap before switching to 95. I wonder who else is about. Who should I speak to next? Cherry and Allegra or I'm done mingling for now. I should be done, but let me go see what they're up to. You approach Allegra and Cherry. They seem to be arguing. Am I interrupting? Oh great, it's you. Before you say anything, Tim basically made me wear the antlers. It looked like you guys were just arguing. What's going on? Allegra keeps accusing me of cracking onto her man. Oh, is Jasper here? Shouldn't that have said Miles? No, he couldn't come. He has to stay in the castle. He's trying to get a proper roof put on it before Christmas. How are you finding it? The castle? Let me put it this way. You don't want to spend your winter in a Scottish castle with no roof. I must have been staying in hotels. Wait, so if Miles is in Scotland, how could Cherry be cracking onto him? Oh, that happened in the airport like three weeks ago. I was only making conversation. As if I know grafting when I see it, hun. Just like you, to try and break up someone else's relationship. Oh, whoa, between these two, it's like being back in the villa again. I should intervene, or maybe I shouldn't. Allegra's got a point. Cherry's innocent, or I've got a text. I got a text. What, from who? She's making it up to change the subject. Rude. I wasn't making it up at all. It's from my mom. You're just as bad as Mason. He could never take a side either. Yeah, thanks for nothing, Alexa. Well, y'all are being petty and stupid. Go ahead, go do that over there. Who should I speak to next? I'm done mingling for now. The other Islanders start following back into the room through the door. As they do, Tim climbs up onto the bar. Yo, everybody, all eyes turn to him. I just want to say it's properly epic to have everyone back together again. 
we're gonna have a wicked evening. It's not time for the big announcement quite yet, but in the meantime, let me show you this thing I've been working on. He nods at Mason, who hits play on the laptop. A backing track starts to play. Uh-oh. They call me Tim Ye, but you know that already. Now check these moves that I learned off the telly. He starts doing a little shuffling dance, taking him closer and closer to the edge of the bar. Oh my God, I think he's gonna fall. Now I'm good. Check this next bit. He spins on his toes. Tim, get off the bar. You get off the bar. Tim's gonna fall if he doesn't watch out. Shout at him, go catch him or watch. I'm gonna shout at him. You're gonna fall. What are you talking about? I'm not good. Ooh. Tim stumbles. Somewhere else in the room, you hear Jen shriek. Uh-oh. He falls to the floor with a dull thump. A few other islanders gasp. I'm all right, guys. There's a slice of lime stuck to his cheek as he grins at everyone. Merry Christmas. The Islanders laugh. Even Erica seems a little brighter for it. Was that just the highlight of the evening? Yes. It's still early. I reckon there'll be more drama before the end of the night. Talk about foreshadowing, Talia. Coming up. The stars align, allowing Alexa and Levi the chance to talk. I wondered when you'd find me. Took them long enough. And Reese causes a stir. Yeah, it was pretty intense getting here and having everyone stare at me. Come on, Reese. You should be used to staring by now. You had cameras on you all summer. To be continued. After these messages. <coughs> Are you tired of sitting alone? Yes, I'm talking. Are you tired of sitting at home alone bored? Yes, okay. Well, you wanna talk to somebody? Yeah, all right. Well, what you gotta do is download Twitter and talk to Allie Fitz because she lit. Yeah, get your phone. Okay, I'll wait for you. She gonna get her phone, y'all. You get yours too. This is a commercial for everybody watching. But anyways, yeah, you download Twitter. And then you follow Alley Cat on Twitter, Alley Cat X. I'll put it on there. And you'll be talking for days. There, look at her. Look. See? Just tweeting, talking, chatting, sending pictures. If you want to do that, that's all you got to do is follow. Look at her having a good time. So Have a great day, y'all. Welcome back to the Love Island Christmas reunion party. It's 9 p.m. and Tim's already falling off the bar. Coming up. Reese finally makes an entrance. I promise there's an explanation for everything. And a new arrival shakes the, wait, new arrival? That's one of the birds from the photo. What? But first, more party. You look around the room. Jim's nursing Tim's head on a slate full of fake presents. So I guess the big surprise isn't happening anytime soon. Somewhere behind them, you spot Levi looking at you from beside a champagne tower. Hopefully I'll have more luck trying to talk to him this time. Who do I want to talk to, Levi? You can feel Levi's eyes on you as you make your way across the room towards him. His face lights up as you approach. Hey, stranger. I wonder when you find me. We could have arrived together if I hadn't been so busy earlier. But it's so good to see Levi. Missing me already? It's only been a few hours. Come on, I couldn't wait that long. Out of nowhere, Levi takes your face in his hands and kisses you. Aw, it's gentle but meaningful. What was that for? I guess being back here with everyone made me remember how excited I am about us and our future. Not that I forgot, of course. It's crazy how far we've come. I know, right? I can't wait to go traveling together. White sand beaches, here we come. I just love how it's all worked out. Life's changed a lot for us since Love Island. I'm so glad you convinced me to try again for the Olympic team. You know, I really think we can win this time. Levi's dreams are coming true. I'm so proud of you. Or don't get ahead of yourself. Or what about my success? I'm so proud of you. You're gonna knock him dead. Well, maybe not dead, but I get your meaning. Thanks, Alexa. Your support has meant so much to me. In any case, I should be cracking on. With who? Levi laughs. With you, obviously, but for now, I wanna catch up with everyone. Just then, he notices something up above you. Hey, look, mistletoe. He smiles and takes a step towards you. Aw, my man, y'all. Happy Christmas, Alexa. Oh, he leans in and kisses you. I could kiss you all night. Wow, a man. But let's chat to the others while we still got a chance. You catch his arm as he turns away. Before you go, have you seen Reese at all? I'm asking for Erica. He's been acting strange and she's worried. No, I haven't. Sorry I can't be of more help. I'm sure it's just something boring he hasn't thought to tell her about yet though. Maybe, I guess. Uh-oh, I know that face. Levi takes your face in his hands and plants a kiss on your forehead. Oh my God. It'll be all right. Ah! I should catch up with some of the others, but I'll see you later. He wanders off towards the exit. I should check in with Jen and Tim. You approach Jen and Tim at the snack table. Tim's talking with his mouth full. I'm telling you, I've got the contact to make this happen. Hey, you guys. Alexa, perfect diamond. It's rap crew business. Get out while you still can. The rap crew lives on. Yeah, we're going big time. Bet you wish you joined now. You still can, you know. Second chance. Do I want to join the rap crew? I'm okay. Yo, 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 the answer's no. No? Well, you just, she said no, sweetie. What about the name though? We need something sick. Tim's thinking of calling it Chicken Shop Nightmares, like with the Z. You know, like when Jasper had that dream. A good name 
waiting for the rock crew could be Genesis, the Tobys, the villains, or I don't care, the villains. I don't get it. Like Darth Vader? Like in the villa, villains. Oh, that's sick. So how are you both getting on outside the villa? Jen and Tim exchange a look. A few seconds pass before a smile spreads across Jen's face. Actually, Jen glances back at Tim giggling. We're moving in together. Whoa. Jen turns back to Tim and strokes his bicep. It's a little bigger than when you last saw it. Could you grab me another drink, please, babe? I need to have a chat with Alexa, in private. I'll miss you the best drink you've ever had in your life. Oh no. Tim sprints off towards the bar, leaving Jen looking disconcerted. If he gets me another pineapple shandy, Jen wants to talk. So how are things really? Or still running your fashion blog? Or lots of shandies, huh? So how are things really? Girl talk. Oh, they're really good. Not just with me and Tim either. My fashion blog is really taken off. I even started a new trend. I'm trying to make casual wings into a thing. People should be able to feel like an angel whenever they want. Oh, so that's not a Christmas outfit? No, we're gonna make wings happen all year round. It's going really well. So what's the problem? Jim sighs, glancing towards Tim at the bar. He has food around his mouth. It's not so much a problem and you'll probably laugh. She blushes and looks down at her feet. But I have no idea what to get Tim for Christmas. You left that pretty late? Any ideas? What should Jen get Tim for Christmas? A gold chain with Timmy engraved on it, a book of cocktail recipes, or I don't know, socks? The, the chain, the chain, y'all. I mean, I'm sure he'd love it. But I'd rather give him something that makes him look presentable. We're spending Christmas with my parents after all. It took them ages to get over those texts back in the villa. Oh, how about a silk tie? Um, it's perfect. My parents will love him in it. So much for Tim's present. Yikes. Thanks, Alexa. You've given me a lot to think about. Jen beams at you and takes out her phone. By the way, have you seen Reese? Jen seems a little distracted as she texts. Sorry, hun, I haven't. Maybe you could ask Tim. You turn and bump straight into Tim. A little of the drink in his hand spills, almost splashing on your outfit. Uh-uh. Tim almost soaked me. Watch it, buddy. You could have got that stuff all over me. Sorry, Alexa. I didn't mean to. You quickly check yourself for shandy stains. <laughs> I heard you asking Jen about Reese. Yeah, have you seen him? Tim frowns as if in deep thought. No, but I do know something. Hear me out, yeah? A few days ago, I saw Lucy had tagged Reese in a photo with all these fit birds. What? Yeah, I was surprised too. Rohan said they've been hanging out. Where is Lucy anyway? She doesn't seem to be here either. And what's this about Reese and all these girls? And thanks for letting me know, Tinye. Don't mention it to Erica. I mean, don't tell her about the photo. Tim doesn't want me to tell Erica. Are you serious? She's my friend, or I wasn't planning on it, or I don't really care either way. Um, she's my friend. Of course I'm telling her. Yeah, I forgot. You're you're well loyal. Tim grins and starts walking over to Jen. Guess I should talk to Erica now. The tea is spilling, ladies and gentlemen. You find Erica alone, staring up at the mistletoe. She keeps checking her phone. Looks like Erica still hasn't heard anything from Reese. No good news on your side then? No, how about you? Which of my findings should I share with Erica? Spending time with Lucy, shady business deal, or photos of Reese with fit birds? Spending time with Lucy, that's the most important because we know her. Rohan said Reese was hanging out with Lucy. I still can't believe she tried to get in between you and Levi. If she's after Reese too, she's got another thing coming. So what does all of this mean? What's going on with Reese? He's cheating on you, he's got money problems, or we're reading too much into it. I don't wanna flat out say he's cheating on you, but he, he might be cheating on you since. Yeah, that was my thought too. Just at that moment, Tim claps his hands to get everyone's attention. All right, everybody, I hope you're all enjoying this party. It's time for my big surprise. And the surprise is, this, he points towards the door. The room falls quiet. You turn around to see Reese walk into the room, followed by Lucy. Hey guys, sorry we're late. What's going on? How is this a surprise? Reese just walked in with Lucy. Should I say something to stand up for Erica? Or should I see what he has to say first? Confront Reese, say something sarcastic, or comfort Erica. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be shady. I'm gonna be petty right quick. Nice of you to show up. What's that supposed to mean? Reese walks up to Erica and leans in for a kiss. She dodges him. Someone in the crowd whistles. Oh, you've been off with me for days. And now you've made me look like a mug by showing up late with Lucy. Should I chime in to support Erica? She's right, or I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. I'm gonna let this tea play out. You offer Erica a reassuring smile. I'm sorry I'm late, Chris Bay. Chris Bay? I promise there's an explanation for everything. Give me two seconds here. Reese squeezes Erica's hand and runs back out of the room. Did he just leave again after all that? Lucy throws Erica a wink. This is all too much. Do you think this is funny, Lucy? Or what's a crisp bay, Erica? Or nothing? I'm, I'm in shock. 
Lucy turns her gaze on you and smiles. What, what you want? Oh, <gasps> the suspense is almost unbearable by the time Reese re-enters the room. The other Islanders gather round. Is that a bird? It's just like the one you befriended in the villa. Oh my gosh, Clarice. Lucy's dad works with birds. He's been helping me find a breeder. Lucy's been kind of a go-between. You turn to Tim. I thought you said Lucy tagged Reese in a photo with loads of fit birds. I wanted to keep the surprise. Huh, fair play, I guess. Reese got Erica a bird like the one from the villa. Oh, so he wasn't cheating, my bad. Oops, saw it coming, that's so sweet. Oh, I'm still not buying it. That's so sweet, best present ever. I also got you some more salt and vinegar, Chris. Though you should probably eat most of those yourself. The other Islanders gather around to expect Erica's new feathered friend. I guess Reese could have been innocent after all. Erica grins up at Reese. I'm sorry for doubting you, babe. Yeah, it was pretty intense getting here and having everyone stare at me. But if you look in the bottom of the cage, there's actually something else in there too. What? Erica peers into the cage. Wait, is that? She reaches in and pulls out a tiny box. Reese takes it off her, opens it, and drops to one knee. What's in the box? I can't see. It's, it's a ring. Oi, stop chatting, you lot. The room falls silent. Erica, since meeting you, I've, I've not always made this clear, but you mean the world to me. We haven't been together long, but I know what I want. Oh my days. Erica, will you marry me? Oh, I... Erica freezes up. Her mouth slowly open, or slightly open, sorry. She turns to look at you. She doesn't know what to say. Encourage her or discourage her. Encourage. Do it, babes. That breaks the spell. Yes, I will, I do. I can't believe it. Amazing. Reese jumps to his feet and kisses her passionately on the lips. Everyone applauds. Allegra hands Jenna Hanky. Mason, Jake, and Levi cheer. Wow, you guys, I can't even. Eric and Reese are getting married. I'm so happy for them. Oh my gosh. They've had their ups and downs, but I think they're the real deal. Your phone beeps. Oh my God, guys, I got a text. Wait, really? Jen walks over. She's just winding us up. No, really, I do. It's a bird. Congratulations on your avian arrival and impending marriage, Erica and Reese. Wait, why are you still getting text messages? Who's sending them? Honey, did you know all that was gonna happen? Me? Nah, I didn't know Reese was gonna pop the question. I just knew he wanted everyone together for some kind of secret reason. That's why I threw this party. Well, that and because I missed all you guys. Oh, bless you. Pretty soon after that, the party starts to fizzle. The music stops and the people start leaving. Aw. Eventually, your phone beeps again. There's a taxi on its way to pick you up. I better go outside and wait. I gotta go, everyone. My cab's nearly here. See you soon. Text me when you get home, okay? Later, Alexa. I'll catch you in the new year, yeah? Love you, babe. See you so, so soon. Bye, Alexa. I'm so glad we got a chance to hang out. Later, Gator. Mason wraps you up in a massive bear hug. Celia kisses you on the cheek. Let's get lunch and a cocktail sometime soon, okay, huh? I guess I'll meet Levi outside. Time to go. Levi's expecting me, but I can still spend the night alone, if I prefer. No. I'm going with Levi. You fire up a text to Levi. Within moments, your phone buzzes. Of course it does. On my way out, ugh. The next text is from Erica. Have a great night with Levi. It starts to rain and he gives you his jacket to use as an umbrella. The gravel glistens under the light of the street lamps. You hold hands while you wait. Your taxi arrives. You slide into the back seat and give the driver directions to your hotel. Levi climbs in beside you, scooting closer as the taxi peels off from the curb. And finally, you're alone together again. You notice a sprig of mistletoe hung up inside the taxi. Levi spots it too. Perfect. You kiss. What a night. We learned that after their time in the villa came to an end, Alexa and Levi stayed together. Of course. We learned that Tim and Jen are still going strong. Despite the fact that Jen's parents still don't really approve. We learned that Cherry is still dating and Rohan is still single. Then we learned that there's going to be a Love Island wedding. I wonder if Reese and Erica will let me be the minister. And let's not forget, Alexa, Chris, and the rap crew. Sorry, I mean, the villains. Can I get out of the shed yet? It's getting chilly in here, and all this texting made my fingers numb. Or maybe that's just the frostbite. Oh, anyway, see you next summer for a brand new season. Well, that's that. It's really over this time, y'all. It's crazy. I'm gonna miss every single character. Well, time for season two. But if you enjoyed this video and want more Love Island tea, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friend. Copy that link, paste it to your friend. Do it. I I'm waiting. Do it. And don't forget to buy, stream, and download my EP Mental Notes because it does indeed slap out. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.